Hey Taurus, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? We're trying something new here. I know this isn't what you're used to. You're used to the, uh, the horizontal thing, but I'm trying something new. And I thought I'd try it on you guys since you're my bull tribe, right? My bull tribe. Okay, Taurus. So what we're going to do is a reading from start to finish, right? I'm going to shuffle, lay out the cards. We're going to talk about them. And, um, I'll, I'll maybe post a timestamp where you can skip all of this if you want to. If I forget to, if somebody out there could please post a timestamp when the actual reading starts, that would be awesome. So what I'm going to do is shuffle, pray, and I'm going to let 15 cards flip out on their own, okay? It's the classic Dana 15 card spread. This is my spread. This is how I do it. This is how the cards talk to me. This is nothing that you're going to find um, instruction on, okay? This is my own personal 15 card spread. So I always swirl my cards. Every time I pick up a deck of cards, I swirl them, right? Because I'm a big stickler about um, reversals. I want my reversals to have an opportunity to arrange themselves in the way that they need to be seen. So I do a big swirl and then I do the poker shuffle like this, right? Do the poker shuffle. Then I do the hand over hand shuffle and that's when we'll get the cards that we need to see. Okay? So y'all just bear with me. Let me do my thing on this side and we'll see what we get for Taurus. Okay? Right on. Let's do it. All right, spirit, source, universal energy. I have the col the collective of Taurus with me. And Taurus, Taurus wants to know what you know, spirit. What do you know? Spirit, what do you know about Taurus? And what's the who, what, where, when, why, and how of what Taurus needs to know? This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, spirit. What is the overall arching energy? that Taurus needs to hear, that Taurus needs to know. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards, and I'm going to keep shuffling. <laughs> Normally I say I'm going to shuffle three times. I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. But Spirit, I want you to flip out, okay? You flip whatever cards that need to be seen for Taurus. Spirit, I need, there you go, I need 15 cards for Taurus. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? How is it that Taurus needs to move forward? What is coming in the near future for Taurus spirit. Let's put, oh, I don't know. Let's put, uh, let's put, let's put a two. Okay. Let's put a two week time span on this spirit. What's the two week time span that Taurus needs to know that Taurus needs to be aware of what's coming towards Taurus. So far we have the princess of pentacles, the princess of pentacles, the Lover's card, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Now, I am dual recording. I'm recording from up there to see the cards, and I'm recording right here so I can talk to you. I don't know how this is going to work. Like I said, this is a new thing that I'm experimenting with, and um, I'm, I'm doing it on Taurus, okay? So y'all let me know how this all works out, okay? So that being said, you will see I have chords and miscellaneous things on this on this table right here because it's a test, right? So I'm not being all fancy for you, Taurus, so you just let me know how it rolls, okay? All right, so we have the Princess of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. What else, Spirit? We have the Prince of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. What else, Spirit? What else does Taurus, what else does Taurus, okay, what else does Taurus need to know? We have Judgment in the center of the reading, the Star in reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Cups was showing itself too. Spirit, we need three more cards to complete this spread. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? What's coming towards Taurus in the next two weeks or so? And what is it that Taurus needs to know? Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? I need three. That wasn't fair. I need three more cards. That one tried to jump. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Taurus, Spirit. Spirit, are you a Taurus? Spirit. I need two more cards for Taurus, please. Two more. There we go. The Hangman and Death in Reverse. Now I'm just going to pull five cards off the top of this to get some extras. Sometimes it's a sidebar. Sometimes it's a continuation. Sometimes it's its own damn story. So we have the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Ten of Wands, and the Devil. 
All right, let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this is all about, Taurus. Now I've already swirled these clarifying cards and I've already um, poker shuffled them. So we're just going to go hand over hand and clarify. Okay, so the Princess of Pentacles to the Lovers is clarified by the Ten of Cups. So let's just read this spread real quick before I jump into clarifying. So we have the Princess of Pentacles. This is the manifestation of some kind of new opportunity, something new, manifestation. To the Lovers card in some kind of significant relationship. The Six of Wands, where there has been a fall from grace, a state of disrepute. Seven of Swords, there's been mental challenges to the Ten of Cups in reverse because of a misalignment of values. The Prince of Wands, there's some kind of inspired action being, ta being taken to the Nine of Pentacles. Culmination, self-sufficiency, independence, we'll see when we clarify. Judgment in the center of this reading talks about somebody needing to make a, an extremely important um, decision, a, a black and white change the trajectory of my life type of decision in the center of the reading. This whole reading revolves around this decision right here to the star in reverse. The star in reverse is ah, self-trust, lack of faith. The sun in reverse is not very optimistic, feeling weighed down. Three of cups in reverse, third party situation or some kind of stifled creativity. The ace of cups, new beginning in love, overwhelming emotion, emotional satisfaction. The queen of pentacles in reverse is talking to us about either an imbalance in a family situation or it's talking to us about um, um, used to hold title but don't anymore. We'll see. To the hangman, processing, right? Pausing, processing, trying to come out with a new perspective. Um, your own personal will being broken sometimes. Death in reverse. This is either a personal transformation or a resistance to change. To the king of cups, feelings, the ten of pentacles, foundation, the seven of pentacles in reverse, limited success or reward, ten of wands, struggle, and the devil. We'll see. Okay? We'll see. So this princess of pentacles to the lovers is clarified by the ten of cups. So there's a message coming into you in regards to a significant relationship that is offering healing. It's tens or completions, right? Completions. Um, tens are the kind of completion where you've done it and now you're springboarding off of that accomplishment, that completion. Nines are a completion in the realm of I've gotten to the point where I don't have to try so hard anymore. And now I can get that one last cup and springboard off. So 10 of cups, completion, some kind of harmonious values alignment type of relationship. Yeah, look to the Empress right? Somebody wants to create abundance. Somebody sees you, Taurus, as the empress. I mean, you are the empress. Okay. Oops. That happens to me a lot. Page of cups, right? It's a message of creation coming in. Okay. Or perhaps you've sent this message out. General reading, you know. Six of Wands in reverse. Fall from grace, a state of disrepute. So Spirit, how do we jump from all of this good stuff into fall from grace, a state of disrepute, breaking free or mental challenges? Seven of Wands, right? It's a challenge. Challenge. Oh, okay. Okay. You see the Wands uh, are fire energy, and that is representative of our inspirations and our passions. Six of Wands in reverse, Fall from Grace, a state of disrepute. Seven of Swords in reverse, mental, mental challenges. Ten of Cups in reverse, misalignment of values and feelings. So this is all a challenge. Why is this a challenge? The King of Cups. Feelings, the King of Feelings, the King of Love, right? 
to death in reverse. Ah, somebody's had a personal transformation. This King of Cups right here. Somebody's had a transformation in their feelings to the chariot and they want to move forward. Okay, but it's a challenge for you because of what's, I have to say what's happened in the past, right? Because if this was brand new, why would there be fall from grace, a state of disrepute, <coughs> mental challenges, and a misalignment of values? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It's just like process of elimination. It's logical that this is talking about something from your past, or why would there be all of these discontented feelings, right? Okay. Prince of Wands, inspired action. It's directly underneath the Princess of Pentacles. What is this about? What is this Prince of Wands about right here? Inspired action. Okay. Strength to the King of Pentacles. So this is you contemplating, pulling on strength, right? Being strong. You don't need strength. You have strength. It's major arcana. You have strength. To the King of Pentacles. So what you're doing is, is, is mustering up the strength that you already have to determine whether this person is going to bring stability, control, power, whether this person is legit. King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus as well. But I really think that it's a dual purpose here, right? Um, you are contemplating inspired action as the King of Pentacles, but you're also, you're also contemplating if this person can be your King of Pentacles. We'll explain as I read, okay? I'm going to read this all from the top, right? So hold on. I'm just clarifying right now. This is behind the scenes. I'm going to call this behind the scenes because <laughs> this is what I do before I click go on the camera, right? All right, Nine of Pentacles. Self-sufficiency. Yeah, Taurus, that's what you're looking at, right? You're looking at your independence and your self-sufficiency. Look to the Knight of Cups in reverse, right? Can I share my emotions with this person? Is it even realistic to share my emotions with this person? To judgment. This is the decision that you need to make, right? This is the decision. To the Three of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. What are you talking about right here? What is the dilemma? The dilemma is the Three of Wands in reverse. Lack of preparation, lack of foresight. Maybe this just comes in unexpectedly for you. To the Seven of Pentacles. What do I want to invest my time in? Have I? Is this going to be worth my time and effort? To the Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving and creating with this person. Is it going to be, or this entity? I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. We're going to talk about that when we read, okay? The star in reverse. What is this about? Self-doubt, self-trust, self-trust, lack of faith. It's lack of faith, right? Lack of faith. Lack of faith, yeah, to the Knight of Wands in reverse because, because there's been delays, frustration. There's been no inspired action up to this point. To the sun in reverse. Ooh, the tower. To the emperor in reverse. Okay. So sun in reverse, not very optimistic. The emperor in reverse. This would represent um, this king of fire, I think, that has been following us, that has been tormenting us through all of these readings for an entire year. Okay. The emperor in reverse, though, is a need for self-discipline. It is something that is inflexible, domineering, and controlling. But what I get from this is that you're not very optimistic because the emperor used to be this way, right? Used to be the bee's knees. But ever since all the shit went down up here between the two of you, they're not seated in their throne of power in your world anymore. And you're not very optimistic that this person that this person can, uh, can, can, you know, put up or shut up the tower, right? This whole, all of these incoming messages right here are just upheaval and chaos in your life. Upheaval and chaos. Tell me about a little bit about this tower spirit, please. What is this tower right here? What is this tower about? Do you all hear that? Texas came out. The high priestess. Yep. 
right? Searching your subconscious mind and your intuition because you don't know if you can trust this or not. Three of Cups in reverse. Stifled creativity? What is this about? What is this Three of Cups in reverse? I don't automatically like to hop to towards a third party situation, right? What is this? Yeah, look, the Ace of Swords in reverse. A lack of clarity. Um, maybe some truth not being spoken about um, if this person is single, if this person is attached. Tell me more, please, about this Three of Cups in reverse. The Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune to the Six of Cups. Followed by the Ace of Cups, no less. Okay. Understood. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, to the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Understood. Hangman, of course, right? I mean, of course. To death in reverse. What is the death in reverse? Is this the personal transformation? I think it is of the King of Cups, because look, we have death in reverse to the King of Cups. Absolutely. That's what that's what the message is. Okay personal transformation spirit can you give me just a little bit more information on this can you give me just a little bit more information on this please okay whoa whoa the ace of pentacles the world and the nine of wands right on understood so ten of pentacles is what's on the table burden and struggle the devil tell me about this dove okay justice look at that Look at that. Justice. Interesting. Tell me more. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me more about this. The hermit. Tell me more about this devil. This attachment that's a restriction to your personal growth. Toxicity. It's also the second lover's card, right? Because, you know, love, honestly, love just isn't all the Ten of Cups. Love just isn't all this right a lot of times love is this right i mean look at the difference you see focus you see those guys on that card right there chained to the foot of the devil they're lovers you see this right here they're lovers too right i don't have the lovers card out here i'd show you the actual lovers card but nevertheless <coughs> okay get myself reorganized okay to the devil so justice to the hermit the devil tell me more about the devil please tell me more about the devil sometimes it's your own just self-disparaging thoughts too ace of cups in reverse knight of swords eight of wands and five of wands all right okay understood all right let's read this let's read this ready let's read this hold on i gotta adjust taurus i feel so at home with y'all so just don't mind me i might just light up a cigarette no i'm kidding i would never do that <laughs> actually you know what i do smoke i smoke i smoke american spirits um but i have an appointment um not next week but the week after that to get hypnotized to quit smoking I do. And I will let you guys know how that works out. I talked to him for a long time yesterday and um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it because I really do want to quit smoking. I really do. But God, I just love it. I just love to smoke. I know the non-smokers out there are like, ew, gross, but I do. I smoke. So I, um, but I really want to quit. So I'm going to get hypnotized to quit smoking and we'll see how that goes. Right. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's read this from the top. You guys ready to read this from the top? Let's do it. Hey, you guys, if you're just tuning in now, I just want you to understand that this is a tech test for me. I'm testing new formats. I'm testing video and video, and I'm testing it on Taurus because y'all are my family, and I knew you'd understand. If you're new to this channel, this is not normal. <laughs> okay, this is not normal, and um, I'm just doing a test, so please be patient. Let me tweak some things, and I appreciate your time and your help. Thank you. Let's do it. Okay, let me get my wires and shit out the way. Oh, look, I should have did that in the first place. 
Like I said, this is a test, Taurus testing. One, two, three, Taurus testing. Okay. All right. So, Taurus, you open this reading with the Princess of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to manifest something with you. To the Lovers card, it's it's the, whoever is trying to manifest something with you represents somebody that is significant in your life. Okay, they're trying to manifest a significant relationship. Clarified by the Ten of Cups, right? They want happiness, harmony, values alignment. They want to come together and just be good. They just want to be good. The Empress, right? They want to create abundance with you. They see you as the Empress. They see you as the prize and they want to create abundance with you. I guess I should be showing you all these cards. Hold on. Well, you're going to see them on the new video. Okay, I don't have to. To the page of cups, right? This page of cups is talking to us about um, creation. So manifestation, there's a message of creation coming in. The Ten of Cups, they want values alignment, peace, and happiness in some kind of significant love relationship. Now, love can be family. It can be friends. It can be any kind of significant relationship in your life, okay? Okay, period, new sentence. The Six of Wands in reverse. This is you, Taurus, going, hmm, well, the last time you were around, all I remember about you is a uh, state of disrepute, right? You have fallen from my good graces. Seven of swords in reverse. Mental challenges about betrayal, deception, shady behavior, right? <clears throat> Mental challenges about sh shady behavior to the Ten of Cups in reverse. A, there was a misalignment of values. Um, there was a breakup. There was, there was a destruction of what there was in the past because there is a fall from grace, a state of disrepute. Now Taurus is challenged by the seven of swords in reverse, mentally challenged, um, about all of the betrayal and the deception and the misalignment of values, right? This person's coming in with the Seven of Wands, right? Uh, no, not this person's coming in with the Seven of Wands. Taurus is responding to all of this with the Seven of Wands, right? Um, a challenge, right? A little self-defensive. It's a challenge to wrap your mind around somebody who was in a state of disrepute, somebody who was shady in the past, somebody who created some kind of mis misalignment of values in a relationship. Now they're knocking on your door with the princess of pentacles and the page of cups, wanting to manifest creation, wanting to manifest the 10 of cups upright in a relationship, happiness, harmony, right? with you, the Empress, they want to create abundance. And Taurus is like, eh, I don't know, right? Who's bringing this in? Well, oh, fine. I'll show you all the cards because it's just, I'm just so confused. Like I said, this is testing, testing Taurus, testing ground. Okay. So, so Taurus is challenged by all of this with the seven of wands, right? Taurus is challenged. Who is bringing in this message? The King of Cups, okay? Somebody that is that is bringing in their feelings and sharing their feelings with you. This is the card of Scorpio, okay? Just saying. Now, I get comments, right? Um, I the, the, Do not pay mind to the signs. The tarot, the tarot has astrological associations and zodiac associations, which are kind of one in the same. But for the sake of explanation, the tarot cards themselves are designed um, with astrological placements. Okay. This one being the card of Scorpio. The water energy is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This card particularly belongs to Scorpio and Scorpio alone. Okay. There's a lot of information out there about it. So when I call signs in my readings, y'all have to understand it's just habit. Okay. It's just habit. I try really hard not to call signs because um, it confuses the hell out of people. In a real tarot card reading, spirit does not give a flying shit about your zodiac sign. 
They don't. It has your zodiac sign has absolutely zero bearing in a real tarot card reading. But this is not a real tarot card reading. This is a general reading for thousands of people. So that being said, do not pay any attention to signs that are being called. Okay. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, you're going to be out there going, yes, yes, Scorpio. If you're not dealing with a Scorpio, you are dealing with somebody who is bringing their feelings to you in a very profound way. This is the King of Cups. It's as high as it gets in the suit of cups, being water, being our emotions and our feelings. Okay. So whoever this is for you, they are bringing very serious, heartfelt messages about feelings. This person is being portrayed as the King of Cups. This King of Cups is telling you with death in reverse, again, the card of Scorpio, just saying, this card is saying that this person is telling you that they have had a personal transformation about how they feel about this situation, about you, Taurus, about you, to the chariot. They want to move forward and they want to move forward quickly. Okay. They want to move forward. They want to move forward quickly and they are professing their love and their feelings for you. So this is a challenge for Taurus with the seven of wands, because like I said, in the past, there was some kind of bullshit that happened between the two of you. And now they're coming in with all of these love messages, right? I got to plug my phone in. Hold on. There it is. Hold on just a second. Come on. Ah. Okay. Prince of Wands, right? All this inspired action that's coming in towards you, Taurus, the Prince of Wands. Now pay attention, okay? Because even though they're professing their love up there, the Prince of Wands, does it, in, does it represent inspired action? Yeah. And it can be just that, inspired action with all of these messages of getting back together coming into you. But the Knight, the, I'm sorry, the Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands, he is the most insincere of all of the knights, right? The knight of swords, they're like hell bent on, on taking action and, and, and transmitting messages, right? The knight of pentacles, they are very serious, very slow, very calculated, delivering what it is they're delivering. The Knight of Cups, very serious in delivering their feelings. But the Knight of Fire, they're like, woo, <laughs> parte, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're very passionate, right? But passion runs out. So just watch that. Keep that in mind as these messages come into you, even though this person is professing um, a transformation in the way that they feel do be mindful that they're coming in with the energy of the Prince of Wands, right? Wanting to roll forward, right? The initial messages are the pages, right? We got the page of Pentacles, the page of cups, little bitty, little bitty test in the water kind of messages. And then it's an outpouring of emotion and charging forward with the chariot. The Prince of Wands, it escalates to the Prince of Wands, passionate interactions, right? Taurus comes in with strength and the King of Pentacles. So Taurus is, is pulling on strength, the strength that they already have. Taurus is pulling on strength and representing the, the, the sign of Taurus, the King of Pentacles, okay? Taurus is pulling on strength. Because Taurus really, really wants to make sure that this person is King of Pentacles worthy. Okay. Is this person, is this King of Cups worthy of being a part of Taurus's life? Does this, does this potential relationship bring control and power to the Taurus? 
to the Nine of Pentacles because Taurus got over this long time ago. Taurus put this whole situation to bed a long time ago. Well, maybe not even a long time ago. Long is relative, right? Could have been two weeks ago. It could have been 10 years ago. It just depends on you. It's a general reading, right? The Nine of Pentacles. This is self-sufficiency, independence. She sells falcons. You see her right there, right? Not everybody wants a falcon, but when you do, you come to her. Self-sufficiency, independence, okay? This is also about culmination. Taurus brought this to a culmination a minute ago, and they're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. Knight of Cups in reverse. This Knight of Cups in reverse upright this is somebody being in touch with their emotions in touch with their intuition and ready to share their feelings in the reverse taurus is saying i think it might be unrealistic to share my feelings with you again to open myself up to this whole situation again i'm just not really sure that this is something that i want to do judgment in the center of the reading right making a decision trying to make a prudent wise decision about how taurus should move forward in this situation what are the defining factors of this decision well the three of wands in reverse lack of foresight lack of preparation right i i, I really don't think taurus sees this coming that's why they're taken so aback by the whole thing right they don't see this coming. They don't have time to think. They don't have time to prepare. Taurus, right? Particularly if you have a Taurus sun sign, very slow moving. We don't like surprises, okay? If you're cross watching for a Taurus, we don't like surprises. We want to know what the fuck's up before it happens so we can prepare for it. So this comes in as a surprise lack of foresight, lack of preparation. To the seven of pentacles this is reflecting and assessing on everything that happened in the past and everything that could unfold in the future taurus is putting the wood to the fire and really giving it some serious thought as to what the hell just happened right here to the six of pentacles do i want to give and receive with this person will there be equal give and take this time around with this person is this something that i want to do that is the turning point of this judgment card right here, right? Center of the reading. The star in reverse. Taurus has a lack of faith to the knight of wands in reverse because there has been nothing happening between the two of you. There's been nothing happening between the two of you. And Taurus has a lack of faith in the situation. To the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is frustration, delays. There has been nothing going on. And then, boom, this person shows up with the fire energy of the Prince of Wands and runs in, spewing all of this um, feelings, vomiting feelings everywhere. Taurus isn't very optimistic with the sun in reverse. If there's anything Taurus is, it's a realist, right? Logical realist. And Taurus says, I don't know. I just don't. I just don't. To the emperor in reverse. Why? Because it used to be the emperor upright. You used to hold this person in high regard. You used to put them on a pedestal. But the six of wands in reverse says that they've fallen from your good graces. They've fallen from your good graces. They're in a state of disrepute. And you're not very optimistic about this entire situation. This whole damn thing is a gigantic tower moment for you, Taurus. A gigantic tower moment. Upheaval and chaos in your feels, in your mental, in your sense of security, and in your passion. It's just a, it's just a huge upheaval that sends you into the high priestess energy right high priestess this is taurus <sighs> digging deep into the intuition the subconscious mind and really really again like i said putting the wood to it really really thinking about feeling really really feeling the truth about this situation 
And Taurus, if you, if you will depend on your intuition, it will not steer you wrong. The only way you get steered wrong with your intuition is when you don't listen to it. Your intuition will not steer you wrong. So listen good and hard to what's happening here. Okay. Not in your feelings, not in your mind, but the, the, the meeting point between the two of them, that's your intuition and that spirit trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go. So listen to whatever it is that is being stirred up in your intuition in this high priestess energy as you take a knee. And you think about everything that's happening right here. Three of Cups in reverse. Hold on. Okay. So this is what's happening with this Three of Cups in reverse right here. I think that there was a third party situation. There was a third party situation that stifled the creativity and the growth of this relationship. I think the third party situation is all the bullshit that happened up there with the 10 of cups in reverse, the seven of swords, the six of wands in reverse, right? This third party situation, I think is why Taurus is on the fence about even entertaining this whole thing, right? This third party situation stifled creativity between Taurus and whoever this is for you. Okay. And the Ace of Swords in reverse says that there is not enough information. There's not enough clarity to make you feel comfortable enough to move forward into some kind of decision. Well, well, this person comes in with this the two of wands i'm looking into my future taurus i'm looking down the road i'm done playing i'm done playing games i'm growing up and i want to be serious hence the personal transformation of the death in reverse to the king of cups right i want to be serious now i'm done playing around i'm looking down the road in my future and i want you in my future to the Ten of Pentacles. I want to build foundation. I want to build something of substance. I want to build a future with you, Taurus. I want to provide the security that you need and desire that I never did before. To the Wheel of Fortune. A turning point. This person has genuinely had a turning point in their life. They, they've genuinely had a turning point in their life. I feel like this person is genuinely sincere when they come to you and tell you that they've had a personal transformation and that they want to charge forward into a new relationship with you. I believe them. I do. They've had a turning point in their life. Then, and they want a turning point in the relationship with you. Because the Six of Cups comes in and says that they want to reconcile their differences from the past and they want to reunite with you, Taurus. They come in with messages of overwhelming emotion. They want a new start in love. They want to clear the slate and they want a new beginning with Taurus. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is Taurus. Okay. So the queen of pentacles upright is somebody that holds position in somebody else's life. Okay. Their socks are on the floor. The electric bills in their name, the dishes are in the sink, right? Um, not in my house. They'd be in the dishwasher. I can't stand dishes in my sink, but nevertheless, right? The queen of pentacles is somebody who holds, who holds position in somebody else's life. Okay. I also want to point out that this queen of pentacles tells me that this was the third party situation sign. Yeah, maybe, but nevertheless, somebody else has been holding position in this person's life. Now it came out in the reverse, right? Which tells me that Taurus use to hold position in this person's life. Taurus used to be this, but they're not anymore. 
And I think they're coming to you, telling you that the, this person, the third, I know it's confusing. The third party situation is no longer a factor anymore, right? And they would like Taurus to now assume this position in their life. But Taurus is remembering the dethroning. Okay, Taurus is remembering how they used to be, but then this third party situation happened or whatever happened. It doesn't have to be a third party situation for you. It's a general reading, right? So Taurus is remembering how they used to hold title, but they don't anymore. How they were dethroned, bumped to the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords, right? Taurus is remembering how their position in this person's life was brought to a culmination. And the Queen of Swords, is, mm, woman after my own heart, I love her. Queen of Swords is like, I don't think so. I just really need to look at this situation from a factual, logical perspective. I need you to tell me the truth. I need to speak my truth. There needs to be some truth spoken in this entire situation because I brought this to a culmination. Our relationship was brought to a culmination. And quite frankly, bro or sis, I'm doing just fine. I'm doing just fine. Nine of Pentacles twice. I'm doing just fine. But maybe if some of your truth makes sense to me, I won't cut you off at the knees, spin on my heels, and walk away. I will entertain what you have to say, but there's no guarantees that I'm going to accept what you have to say. That's what these cards are about. The hangman. This is Taurus. Pausing. Processing. Right? Coming out on the other side with a new perspective because what's being said, what's being said is this again. Look, we have it up here. Same two cards. We have the King of Cups to death in reverse, and we have the King of Cups to death in reverse. This person is telling you that they have had a personal transformation, that they have come to terms with the fact that they love you, right? The King of Love, the King of Cups, they love you. And they want to move forward into a Ten of Cups, solid, Ace of Cups, love relationship. They want to reunite and reconcile. They want a turning point in the relationship with the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, there's a turning point either way, right? Either way, it's a turning point in the relationship. Major Arcana, it's not negotiable. There is a turning point happening in this relationship. What you do with it is up to you. But they're coming to you and telling you, I have had a personal transformation and damn it, I love you. And that's what put Tor puts Taurus in the hangman energy, right? Pausing, processing, pausing and processing. These cards are clarified by, well, these cards, the personal transformation of the way that this person feels about you is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. They want to manifest a brand new beginning to the world card. They want to close out the cycle of disrepute. They want to close out the third party situation. They want to close out all the bullshit from the past, and they want to start a brand new cycle with you, Taurus. To the Nine of Wands, right? This is, I mean, look at that dude in that picture, right? He's just wore out. He's like, oh, I've been here before. I've done this before. We've been here before, and I'm just really not sure if I want to. Just not sure if I want to continue on with this whole thing or not. But this card is also about resilience and persistence, right? And if we know one thing about Taurus, they are persistent and they are resilient and they will give you a bazillion chances before they actually pull the plug on you. So this is Taurus being worn out, but also being resilient. What we got here? Ten of Pentacles, that's what's on the table. Ten of Pentacles. 
Foundation structure, second time. Foundation structure, stability. Completion of this cycle and a springboard into success. That's what's being offered. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. But Taurus says this was offered once before and I had limited success or reward in the past. Limited success or reward in the past. Don't know if I should believe you or not. Burden and struggle with the Ten of Wands. It's a burden. It's a struggle. This whole thing has been a burden and a struggle. Right? This whole thing has been a burden and a struggle. Before, during, after. The whole thing has just been a burden and a struggle for Taurus. Right? But now there's a little glimmer of accomplishment on the other side of this burden. Right? Coming to terms with the fact that this person has had a personal transformation and now they want to love you is the last leg of this person's journey. They've come far, right? Taurus has come far carrying a heavy load. And now the last leg of this journey is up a narrow, winding, steep staircase. And does Taurus want to do this? Does Taurus want to? To pursue the last leg of this journey in order to potentially have the Ten of Cups with the, with the King of Cups. Justice comes in, says some truth is spoken, some honesty, some fairness, some truth is spoken. Karmic law, universal law has been applied to this situation and there is justice. What's the justice? Well, the justice is this person coming back in after being a fuckwad coming back in and and professing their love to Taurus. That's justice, right? Whether Taurus accepts it or not is another thing. There's some truth that's been spoken. That's justice. Cause and effect. What's the cause? This person has had a personal transformation and now they want to love you. What's the effect? Taurus accepting or not. There's justice being presented for this situation. And it has, and it puts you in, um, the hermit energy, right? Really doing some soul searching and some introspection to light the path, to give you information, to give you internal guidance about what direction you need to go in this particular situation. This could also be this person speaking their truth about how they have spent a good long minute in the hermit energy, doing some soul searching, not damn hair, doing some soul searching um, about you and this situation. Could be both. The devil. The devil. Let me see what I have here real quick. Hold on. So the devil to the ace of cups in reverse, knight of swords in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. Okay. 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 The devil, right? An attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth some kind of toxicity, some kind of toxicity, because this devil is representing who this King of Wands used to be. This devil is representing the emperor in reverse. The devil is representing this person when they were this, okay? When they were the emperor in reverse, knocked off their throne, because of all the bullshit that happened, right? That's why you're seeing them as the devil, okay? Does it mean they're evil? No. Does it mean they're toxic? No, not necessarily. It just means that the memory of this person that you have is of somebody who is toxic because they knocked you off of your throne in pursuit of somebody else, if that's your story. If it's not your story, if there wasn't a third party situation, you're still seeing this person in the same light. Whatever they did to you in the past is why you see them as the devil, right? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, this is um, repressed emotions, right? You have feelings for this person. You absolutely do. 
you have feelings for this person and now all of these repressed emotions are coming to the surface because you're being faced with a choice now the knight of swords in reverse this is disorganized this is um no action being taken to the eight of wands in reverse this is holding off right not taking any action to the five of wands in reverse now this is an increased focus on goals what do these cards say these cards say mr or mrs toxic right here who hurt you in the past who you have a lot of repressed emotions for or about where there's been absolutely no action being taken up till now eight of wands in reverse where there's been absolutely zero communication nothing happening between the two of you now wants an increased focus on goals between the two of you that's what's happening here tell me more spirit tell me more tell me more tell me tell me about okay yeah look exactly what I just said right the knight of swords in reverse there's been no action being taken and now they want to create abundance with Taurus no action being taken and now they want to create abundance spirit let me let me grab a fresh deck real quick I've already I shuffled the I shuffle every time I put every time I put a deck down I shuffle it before I put it back on my shelf and then when I pull it out I shuffle it again but I can't because my table's all full of cards so I'm doing this so spirit tell me what are the real motive oh look what was face up I am not kidding you look 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 where'd it go I just saw it where the hell did it go oh there it is look the devil was face up ha all right spirit spirit what is this king of cups this king of cups this devil what is what are their real intentions what are their true intentions with Taurus spirit what are their true intentions with Taurus what are their true this other person what are their true intentions with Taurus what are their true intentions with Taurus that's five swords what's their true intentions with Taurus this is all talk no I'm sorry five of swords five of swords is a betrayal conflict win at all costs mind games but let's just see how it plays out spirit what is this person's true intentions towards Taurus the hangman they've been thinking for a long time what is this person's true intentions with Taurus death in reverse a personal transformation what is this person's true intentions with Taurus what is their true intention spirit what is their true intentions with Taurus the star no shit hope faith purpose and renewal what is this person's true intentions with Taurus what is this person's true intentions anything else you need to anything else Taurus needs to be aware of as they contemplate this decision-making process to go forward with this person or not what is this person's true intentions with Taurus what is this person's true intentions with Taurus what is there that's it they're not answering okay so now I want to know okay so their true intentions right um five of swords where there was um tension conflict defeat mind games just all kinds of fuckery going on right in the past hangman they've given it a lot of thought a lot of thought about how they acted and what they did in the past in this relationship with Taurus death in reverse they have had a personal transformation so the third time death in reverse has been in this reading they have had a personal transformation to the star and they want hope faith purpose and renewal with you Taurus that's what they want that's their true intentions right look I just picked up this deck lovers on the bottom 
Okay. Now I want to know, Spirit, what is what is your advice for Taurus in this situation? What is your advice for Taurus in this situation? What is your advice for Taurus? What is your advice for Taurus? Oh no, why is my phone not charging? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, because it's not plugged in. Hold on. All this time. Oh, but I got the light plugged in. Damn it. All right, well, I'm just going to hurry up and finish up this reading then because we're almost done anyway. So hopefully it doesn't die before then, okay? So what is your advice for Taurus spirit? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus, what is your advice for Taurus spirit? You know this person. What is your advice for Taurus? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, eight of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is lack of ambition, lack of focus. It's also about perfectionism to the Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling. Uh-huh, I see where this is going. Uh, please don't die on me, phone. Please don't die. I see where this is going. So what this is saying is that even though you may reunite and reconcile with this person, Taurus, don't expect perfectionism. Don't expect, just because they've had a personal transformation, don't expect them to be somebody completely different because a tiger doesn't change its stripes. It just doesn't. Four of Swords in reverse. This is healing and recovery. Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. The Queen of Cups, much love. And the Eight of Swords, an energetic shift in this entire relationship. So, Spirit, what is your advice to Taurus about tangling, tangoing with this person again? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Don't expect perfectionism. Don't expect perfectionism because they're human, okay? They're only human and a tiger doesn't change its stripes, although it can um, do better, right? It can do better. A bad tiger can do better. To the Six of Cups. Reuniting and reconciling. Don't expect perfection. Be open-minded. But they have changed. They have changed. Spirit in the little last spread. Death in reverse. They have changed. Okay? Four of Swords in reverse. Healing and recovery is what is going to happen. Teamwork and collaborations is what's going to happen. The Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. This is maybe soulmate, right? Soulmate kind of stuff. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. King of Cups is in this reading at least twice. You're going to be the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. This is movement, action. Speed, swift change. This is what you got to look forward to. This is beautiful. These cards say that this person has absolutely had a personal transformation. And they have come to the realization that they genuinely, truly love you, Taurus. And they want to build future foundation. They want to move into the future with you. They've had a true, true personal transformation and they want hope faith purpose and renewal with you what's your advice from spirit reunite and reconcile but be careful don't expect perfectionism from this person they're only human right they're only human they still may smack their lips when they eat but damn it they love you <laughs> right queen of cups to the king of cups this is a this is a love union and the Eight of Wands says, go, go, do it, go, explore it. Yay, yay, Taurus. I can only hope that this would work out for me, but unfortunately for me, I really don't see this happening. Um, my King of Wands, um, I just don't see it happening, but I'm happy for you. I am excited for you, and I definitely, definitely hope that this resonated with you. If you want your cards read, deepthoughtswithdana.com is where you can uh, reach out to me. Tarot School, if you want to learn to read the tarot, or if you just want to understand the tarot better, 
Okay, the whole module is for sale if you want to learn to read the tarot. And the individual videos are for sale separately if you just want to know more about the tarot to be able to understand maybe what it is that you're watching in a tarot card reading. Okay, all right, you guys. Well, that is your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for um, testing all of this with me, the lights and the camera and the new way that I'm doing things, maybe kind of, sort of. Um, I appreciate your help. Drop a comment. Let me know how you like this whole new thing here. And um, namaste.